Hi guys, what's up and welcome to a new mathematics video. It's me, Mr. Mustache Mathematics here, aka Mr. Stringer, bringing you uh, my favourite video of all videos so far. My favourite. It's an absolute banger. It's 10 out of 10, but it's something to do with nines. Uh, what it basically is, it's how to multiply any number, whether it's got 10 digits, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. Whether it's got three digits, one, two, three, i.e. 123. How to multiply that number, if it's one, two, three, times uh, a string of nines, i.e. 999. Nine, nine. One, two, three times 999. Nine, nine. Or 13 times 99. Or 134 times 999. Nine, nine. Three digits, three digits. If you can times that number by the same amount of nines. This trick's incredible. It works as follows. I pick my number, 123, because that's what I said to begin with. I times it by 999. Nine, nine. Three digits on the left, three digits on the right. Simple as that. You start, and I mean, this is the genius trick, doing all the calculations in my head. Do, 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 do. Answer, one, two, two, eight, seven, seven, is that right? It's incredible. Just multiplied 123 times 999 in my head. Now I'll show you how I did that. It works as follows. Get the number here, 123. Drop it by one. 122. Now look at this number. And you're looking for your number bonds. So they add to make nine. Look at the first one. One add what makes nine? Eight. And then you go to the next one. Two add what makes nine? Seven. Two add what makes nine? Seven. The number is... 122,877, as we can see here. 1, 2, 2, 8, 7, 7. Now, yes, I know. Crazy. It is crazy. Honestly, I don't even know how this works. Well, I do, but it takes a lot. It takes a while. So, let's do another one. Let's go for a four digit number. Uh, 157. And it's paying out a four times 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Massive number. 1,574 times 9,999. I bet you didn't think you could do it this quick. Ready? Drop the number by one. One, five, seven, three. Now it's just the case. Looking at this number, doing the number bonds to nine. First one, right? It's going to be uh, one add what makes nine. Eight. Next one, five add what makes nine. Four. Seven add what makes nine. Two. Three add what makes nine. Six. The number there. Let's put some commas in and let's read it. Every three, every three, fifteen million seven hundred thirty-eight thousand four hundred twenty-six. Boom! Done that quick. Let's watch it. One, five. Let's check. One, five, seven, four times nine, 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 nine. One, five, seven, three, eight, four, two, six. My blow. Now you see the power of this. It's ridiculously powerful. You could have a seven digit number if you want it times it by nine 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 it's one too many nine you get the picture it's incredible now i'm just going to show you something what happens if um what if i don't want to times it by the same amount of nines as the number has digits what do i do there watch this i'm going to do one five seven four oh, do you know what? i'm going to do it in black pen because it's black above and it just makes sense one five seven four i'm going to times it by nine 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 Five of them. I'm going one higher. More oh, scary. Now, here's the weird part. I'll let you spot it for yourself. Have you spotted it yet? Did you see that I happen to leave this perfect gap in the answer above? And in that perfect gap, i.e. there's four digits on the right-hand side of the answer, four digits on the uh, left, I think I did that right because it's back to front. There was a nine inserted. That extra nine slotted in there. So the number's now incredibly large. Um, oh, I'll put it there. It's 156,398,426. It's humongous. And there it is. 157398426. 157398426. Mind blown. Hang on. Let's not times it by 99,999. Let's times 1,524 by 999,999. 999. 
I wonder what that could do. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to have a guess. I've got my 1573 here, and then I've got my 8426 here. And that extra 9, which we done for 99,999, was there. I'm going to guess there's going to be another one in between the perfectly split 1573 and 8426, which is the other way around on your screen. Um, just a guess. 1574 times 9999. Is it possible? Well, we'll see. One, five, seven, three, nine, nine, eight, four, two. What do you know? Magic. I'll let you investigate the rest for yourself, but that is absolutely incredible. Um, like I said, there is some magic in maths, and that's one of these times. I hope you've enjoyed it. It really is a special episode. Um, use this trick. It can work for all sorts of things. But what I want to leave you with is a final thought and see how good you are at pattern spotting. I've shown you how to do the following. Say you get a number, three, two, four, and you times it by the same amount of nines. We discovered that you write the number and drop it by one. You then do your number bond up to nine. So three, add what gives you nine, six, two, add what gives you nine, seven, three, add what gives you nine, uh, six. You get your answer. We then just discovered if we write the number, but we don't do it by the same amount of nines, but let's say one higher, it means you need to split the number evenly. So you've got the six, seven, six, you've got three, I'm going to do it back front actually, three, two, three, split with the six, seven, six. And in the middle comes the extra nine. Mm. And then you've just seen, oh, what if I put two nines? What if I put an extra three nines. Well, I'm just going to go and guess that that's three nines in the middle because maths is crazy. But maths is beautiful. Three, two, four times. Nine, 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 nine. Three, two, three, treble nine, six, seven, six. Mind blown. Right, moment of truth though. Can you spot this following pattern? I'm not going to teach you how though. Make this one up on your own. If I multiply it by the same amount of nines, we remember, drop the number by one, and then do the number bonds to nine. What if we multiply it by not the same amount of uh, nines as there are digits, but one less? I'll let you spot the pattern for that one. If you do, drop it in the comments below. Let's see how good you are. As always, really enjoyed this video today. It's me, Mr. Stringer, signing out. See you next time.